What's going on guys? I'm Alan and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of work on the Malone Lomax kayak slash canoe trailer. So this canoe has been great, but one thing it does not have is padding on the uh, load bar. So these are just metal. And uh, let me show you real quick. So over here on the canoe, I've used uh, this trailer several times now. And it is scratching my canoe up just a little bit, as you can see right there. And over here, same thing on the back. Got some scratches there, some scratches there. So what we're going to do to fix that, I got some pool noodles, as you can see my daughter's playing with one there. Uh, another one here, I just ordered these on Amazon, but they're super heavy duty, really big around, and they're already cut. So all I gotta do is just kinda slide them, or kinda put them on there. Then I got some black zip ties from Amazon as well. I'll link all this stuff down in the description. Uh, one other thing real quick. Also, we named our canoe and got some lettering on the back. So the name of the canoe is the yacht. <laughs> so yeah, since it's a really large canoe, uh, it's a pretty fitting name. That is our yacht. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get these things put on here. So just be kind of a quick little fun video, nothing too serious or difficult. Let's go ahead and get started. We just finished putting the pool noodles on there, so that's what they look like. We just did uh, three zip ties, I mean they're not really going anywhere. And uh, the zip ties that I had were too small, I bought 8 inch zip ties, so if you do this project be sure to get some bigger ones. But what we did, we just hooked two together, so you got one here, one over there, and I think it'll work just fine. So we'll probably leave that on there when these pool noodles wear out, which they'll probably last a long time, but whenever they do wear out we may just get some bigger zip ties, but the two 8 inch ones work just fine, so we got that on there. And we're going to go ahead and put the canoe on there. I'll let you guys see that real quick. Yeah, you did so good. Back there, too. Ready? Yeah. Daddy, I'm just so clean. So clean. Oh, that's nice. Um, Here's what it looks like with the canoe on there. So it is big enough for our canoe. If we ever wanted to haul something else on here, too, we'd need to get a little bit of... Uh, extension, probably buy another one, just kind of cut them up a little bit, but it'll definitely work for what we're doing. Got two little helpers here, wiping off the canoe, giving it a nice cleaning. Just walk around here. So there you go, guys. I think that's going to be it for this video. Just a quick little video. Also, I've made a few other um, things about this trailer, so I made a video where I put the entire thing together, so if you guys want to see that. Be sure to check it out. I also made a video about how I added that spare tire down there. And I haven't talked about this yet, but I did, um, all we did was just bungee cord our fishing poles to this. So instead of like fixing up a box or, you know, something like that on it, I just, we just kind of strapped those straight to the trailer. That's been working really well. And we did the same thing over here on this side for the paddles. So we're just using bungee cords, hooking those down. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this thing uh, kind of strapped back down just loosely. We're going to be taking a trip here pretty soon with it, so I wanted to get it ready to ride for a while. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We're shooting for 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year if you guys want to help me hit that goal. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one.